Hi guys. So I'm gonna, I know I just posted a video yesterday, but I figured I would make another video before I go back to work tomorrow, which would be Monday. So today's Sunday, December 1st, and I go back to work tomorrow for Monday, December 2nd. Um, today is technically like my last day of my maternity leave on my paper. So yeah, I'll be going back to work tomorrow and I figured that I would film my newborn essential video that I've been planning to make since I had Kaysen. <laughs> but um, finally got it together and I'm gonna show you guys just kind of like a few things that I personally think that is essential for me. Um, it might be essential for other people, but this is basically me trying to help other moms or first time moms specifically kind of boy moms but i guess like every other mom just because a lot of the things that i am using is just for babies in general um but these are just things that i personally liked using and i wanted to share as far as what i think other people should be using um just because it really did help me out throughout my journey right now as a first time mom so if you guys do want to go in and see more, just continue watching and you guys will kind of see exactly what I use. All right, so the first thing I'm gonna go ahead and talk to you guys about is gonna be this. I have like a little bucket of everything that I wanted to talk about, but um, the first thing I wanna talk about are these Munchkin pacifier wipes. The reason why I really recommend getting these is because if you are someone that's on the go or you have your diaper bag and your baby is taking a pacifier, I highly recommend getting these just because if let's say your pacifier drops on the ground or you've been like using it a lot and you just wanna wipe it and don't wanna sterilize it just yet, but, which I do recommend or I do suggest you do sterilize still at least once a day, but for when you're on the go or just if you have something on, you need something on hand, um, the pacifier wipes definitely work. These help us a lot because our pacifier has like dropped so many times that I've had to like sterilize and then sometimes like he's crying a lot and I need to get his pacifier, but his pacifier I know was dirty so I just grabbed one of these wipes and it worked out a lot. Um, you can get these at Target. These are like $3.99. They're not very expensive, but, um, and these do have quite, a, I think they have, yeah, they have 36 wipes. So these help a lot when you're on the go. It is nice to have on your diaper bag or when you're at home and it's just nearby. So highly recommend these. And then speaking of pacifiers, so I think I talked to you guys about in my one month update as far as Kaysen using a pacifier and what kind of pacifier he uses. So, Kaysen does like the Bibs um, pacifier that you see from like every YouTuber online. Um, these are like really popular, but they are, I guess you can say, pretty expensive pacifiers. Um, I got these on Amazon. This came in a two pack. It came in a gray color and this color, and it was fourteen ninety nine. And the reason why he really likes these and why I recommend these, and I probably am gonna order more this Christmas. Um, as his like stocking stuff for gift is because he takes this a lot better than he does the Avent ones. I don't know if it's just the shape of the nipple or how it works, but this one stays in his mouth. As far as like the Avent ones or like the Wubbanub ones, it's it just looks like it's really thin. So sorry, like <laughs> Cody's like playing his game. The reason why he likes the bibs one so much is because it has to do something with the nipple it's just easier for him to hold into his mouth as far as like the avid ones are really narrow um he just wouldn't keep that in his mouth and that's why i really like the bib ones because these ones they just they work better for him um as far as it for him to actually stay in his mouth and actually like continue to suck on um, so I highly recommend these ones. These ones you can get on Amazon or you can get on the website or I think you can even get it on like the little boutique shops for babies. But these ones are amazing. And then as far as like the pacifier clip, I recommend a pacifier clip because if your baby does lose the pacifier, pacifiers can get lost. Like I said, I drop mine all the time on the floor for some reason and it helps with the pacifier clip because if you're on the go, you just clip it on him and it stays with him the whole time. So. That's what I recommend, and this I got from Amazon. Um, these ones were a four pack. I got like four different colors. It was like gray, white, I got a green one and a pink one. 
Um, and these were like $12.99, I believe. So I highly recommend getting a pacifier clip. You don't have to get exactly the one I got. I can link it below, but um, any kind of pacifier clip definitely is a way to go for newborn essentials. Jason is, <laughs> he was having a lot of boogers for like the first three weeks. Yeah, so he was like, he developed his boogers at three weeks and we didn't know what was going on and we didn't know how to take it out besides the syringe, the bulb syringe, which I guess isn't terrible, but my baby absolutely hated it. And I'm not saying that my baby doesn't hate this, but it's a lot better than the bulb syringe, I believe. So the first thing I'm gonna recommend, you don't have to do this, you can do like breast milk because that's what I did at first. And I still recommend that because, you know, breast milk is golden milk, but um, they, I got this at Target. It's Boogie Drops. It's from like the brand of the Boogie Wipes, but basically it's saline nose drops. You just put it in his nose and it should like clear out the um, no nasal way. But we use this and then we use the Nose Frida, which this is the Nose Frida that you guys see. It's like a booger sucker. Um, so instead of using the bulb syringe, this is like the part where you suck on like a straw and this is like what you put, you put like this in his like nose or her nose and then it like you just suck and it comes out and it's actually not that bad. Um, I thought it was gonna be terrible, but it's not that bad. Um, you just put this in there, put, start using this and the boogers come out, all of the boogers come out and like I said, Kaysen doesn't like it so much, but it definitely does help us a lot, um, especially clear his airway. So I highly recommend these two items. So if you guys do have your newborn and he has a lot of boogers, uh, one thing that I do suggest is getting a nose Frida because this I stand by this with all the other moms. This definitely helps out with a lot. Um, and I personally don't have this on the go with me, but I do have the bulb syringe, but usually I use this after bath time. Um, that way he's clean and his nose is clean. So yeah, as far as other like stuff that I highly recommend, that's kind of like medication kind of stuff. So my baby is exclusively breastfed. Um, he is bottle feeding and taking and latching on but the one thing that i wasn't told and that i actually had to find out through youtube was that to get vitamin d drops which i didn't know because i honestly thought that my breast milk just had everything but then i read and was told that vitamin d is not a lot does it doesn't have a lot in your breast milk, so you do have to get like vitamin d supplement so the one that i'm using is the infamil um DV Soul, yeah, I think that's that. But this is the Infomil one. This is exclusively for um, breastfed babies. It kind of just looks like this, and you just like drop it in your baby's mouth, and like you put it on his cheek, and then he just squirt it a little bit. Um, and honestly, <laughs> this doesn't smell that good, but. I personally think this is very important for any kind of moms like if you're like me and didn't know that you had to have vitamin D drops for your baby um, this is what I'm using right now I think there's a whole bunch of other vitamin D supplements that you can get but this one was pretty inexpensive I got it on Amazon for like seven dollars and it wasn't that bad but my pediatrician said that this was a good one and my pediatrician said this was very important so this is the one I got and highly suggest for any moms that you do get your vitamin D supplement if you are exclusively breastfeeding. Kaysen is exclusively breastfeeding but he does take a bottle as well just so that Cody can go ahead and bond with him and feed him and especially because this week I'm going to be working and he's going to be home with him so I have to make bottles. Um, so the one thing I do want to go ahead and highly, highly suggest is the Avent bottles. Um, he just ate this, but basically these are the Avent bottles. These are the smaller ones that go up to five ounces. And the reason why we highly suggest the Avent ones is because Kaysen was, if you guys saw from my baby shower haul, he was using the Tommy Tippy bottles a lot. And they were good for like the first like week or so and then we realized that the Tommy Tippy bottles were <coughs> really crappy because for some reason it always kept leaking and we just got really annoyed with the Tommy Tippy bottles and then we were using the Dr. Browns kind of like testing it out and we thought we really liked the Dr. Browns and then 
we ended up not liking it because Kaysen wasn't taking it like the nipple is just so narrow that he just he didn't like the way that it was and he just wouldn't drink as much as he was as with the Avent bottle. So I highly suggest the Avent ones. The other bottle that I do suggest though is getting the Comotoma ones. Those are the green ones or the pink ones you get. Um, those ones are kind of expensive though. Those ones I got for $16.99 yesterday, or yeah, $16.99 on Amazon. Um, and that's just for the big bottle. So they're pretty expensive but i think it's because the nipple of it is kind of like your natural nipples so that's why i highly suggest the comatoma one and these ones because these ones are pretty natural too and um my baby he honestly takes it better so i highly suggest avent bottles and the comatoma bottles if you are exclusively breastfeeding and like latching your baby because these are like way more, way more natural but if your baby is taking the tommy tippy that's great or dr brown's great because i know a lot of YouTubers do use Dr. Brown's, but personally, my baby likes to have in bottles, so that's just my suggestion. Stuff or more stuff for like the baby. Um, so one thing that I highly do suggest is zipper pajamas. Um, this is just an example. This is not like my favorite one, but this one is just a zipper one. Except this is not the one that has that is from the bottom one. Um, I like the ones from the bottom that way when I'm changing him at night it's only exposed on the bottom and not the top but this one is a still a zipper one so honestly I think every mom can go ahead and stand by this though that if you do have a zipper pajama it makes it so much easier at night um i personally don't have a problem with button onesies but at night it definitely helps with having a zipper one and then having the button ones during the day just because it's just so much easier but if you have like the bottom ones it's just easier like i said you just cover uncover the bottom and then the top and then it's just again it's just easier <laughs> to go in and work with but i know that a lot of places not a lot of places but i think like there is a little bit more expensive for the zipper ones so just keep that in mind when you are looking for pajamas and you want the zipper ones they probably are going to be a little bit higher in price compared to the bottom ones that i've noticed because i went to target yesterday and looked at their zipper ones versus their bottom ones and their bottom ones are a lot more cheaper than their zipper one zipper ones so just keep that in mind as far as like diapers go um Kaysen never really had a problem with different diapers. He personally doesn't care, I don't feel like, but we did notice as far as for me and Cody that we had a preference in diapers. Um, we did like the Kirkland one, or we do like the Kirkland ones. Those are the ones that we are using right now, but we don't like the Huggy snug, snug, Snuggy Dry or Snuggle Dry. Basically, it's the one with like the Mickey um yeah the mickey print on it and the only reason why we don't like it is because the velcro always like falls into where the pee and the poop is so that's why we don't like that but we like the pampers one and we do like the kirkland ones it's not the regular pampers i can't think of the name of it right now but it's the one that has the cute prints on it and that's the one that we were using a lot at the beginning with his newborn diapers but we only got newborn diapers which is nice but i do want to get one for size ones or two because he's in size ones right now but um, as far as wipes go, he didn't really have a different a preference either. Um, but I did notice that the Huggies one, they do they do dry out a lot faster. So not a big fan of the Huggies one again. But I he doesn't have a preference. But the one we are using is the Kirkland brand. Kirkland brand um, baby wipes that you get from Costco. These come in such a big box. <laughs> and they come in a lot these ones are like 100 wipes and we have like two boxes and we still have a lot to go through which moving forward we're probably going to go ahead and keep using kirkland baby wipes because there's just so much and it's actually really good quality so when it comes to baby wipes i highly suggest the kirkland ones and it's i think it's like 24.99 for the big box but it is a really good they get, it's a really good price for what you get. So, highly recommend the Kirkland Baby Wipes. The things I'm going to go ahead and suggest to you guys is um, 
I don't have a preference in blankets, but I definitely suggest a blanket just because it's really cold where we live and it snows and it rains and we do have a nursing cover for him to cover his car seat or car seat cover, whatever it's called. Um, but a blanket is definitely useful for when it's really cold and I, we always carry one. He personally uses his shark one because we're all about sharks with him um, or just animals in general. So we suggest a blanket or I suggest a blanket for your baby, especially if it's super cold. I know that's pretty much common sense, but you know, some pe I feel like some moms just need to hear that, that you should always carry a blanket with you, especially if you live in like a cold climate. And I do have two big things that I do want to show you guys that I highly suggest, uh, but one of them, um, Kason is using right now downstairs because he's sleeping with um, around his dad right now downstairs. Um, but that one is just his boppy lounger and this one is just the boppy pillow. I know a lot of people have different preferences when it comes to the boppy pillow, especially when it comes to nursing, but for me, Personally, the boppy pillow is something I do suggest for your breastfeeding parent or even if you're like formula feeding or bottle feeding, I do suggest a boppy because you can just lay on here and they can just go ahead and hang out and eat or lay with you. So I don't know. I like the boppy pillow. I just personally have the Hello World one. I like this because it, it's like suede or plushy right here and it feels really nice. But... I know a lot of moms don't really like the boppy because it just it sometimes, I don't know, maybe like it's just this part that doesn't really go around other people or I, from what I've heard is that it's just this part that people don't really like, which at first I thought I didn't like the boppy pillow, but then when I started feeding him on the bed and on the couch, it worked so much better. So I don't know. I'm one of the moms that likes the boppy pillow. That's just me. The last thing I'm going to go ahead and recommend to you guys is a baby monitor. So the one that we are using is the lollipop one. This is the one you can get on Amazon and this is the one that connects to your phone. So you can go ahead and view your baby from your phone. Um, this one, again, I got from Amazon. I think it was like 150 and it is, so it is pretty expensive, but it's actually a really good camera. Um, this one does bend and it can like, if you like connect it to the side of your crib or you can connect it to like your wall or something, it does come with like a wall mount with it. And pretty much what it does is you just shine it down and you can go ahead and view your baby on your phone. So whenever you're on the go or like let's say your babysitter is with your baby at home and you just want to check on your baby, you can go ahead and use your baby monitor and just view it from your phone at home, which is what personally was what we wanted to do and that's why we got the lollipop one because that's what we wanted was something to connect to our phone um it was that or we we're gonna get a motorola one but we ended up getting this and i can go ahead and show you guys how it works through this next few clips here um so pretty much what you'll go ahead and see is that we, how we use it through our phone and what it looks like. It does have like a night mode. Um, it does capture like sound, his crying, dictation. I can't say it, say it, but can notice when he cries. No one is like a loud noise. Um, can like tell the temperature and tell a lot. So it, this thing actually does a lot of stuff. So I really suggest if you are a first time mom or you're a mom that's looking for a baby monitor, I highly suggest a lollipop one because this one definitely is the way to go. So to pretty much use this app, uh, you pretty much just have download the Lollipop app and this is kind of what it looks like. You can scroll through your whole notifications or the videos of what you did throughout the night and you can actually do a lot with this and you can actually do some noises like music or you can check to see for crying dictation, noise, air quality, temperature, humidity, and crossing dictation like I said. And it's pretty cool because it really does show a lot of things that you can do. And then this is just an example of me watching Kaysen one day. So this is kind of what it looks like. Um, sometimes it's in day, mood, day mode and sometimes it's in night mode. 
Alright guys, so that's it for this video. Sorry if I literally cannot talk. I honestly don't know why I can't talk. I probably just... I don't know. But basically, I just wanted to film this video before I go back to work tomorrow because I don't know if I'm going to be have, being able to film more videos through the time that I am working because I'll be working and then I got to come home and take care of my baby and then, yeah, we'll see how I do. But um, I just wanted to film this video and like I said, these are just things that I personally use and that I wanted to share with other moms here. If you guys do you like what I use? I can go to link some of the things on the on the description box down here. So I'll link some of the things and you guys can kind of see if you will like it yourself. But these are personally things that I really liked using and I'm going to continue using for my baby. So that's just what I wanted to share with you guys. But I'm going to go ahead and end the video here. If you guys, like I said, if you guys are new here, please subscribe if you like to. If other than that, I will go ahead and see you guys in my next video. And happy holidays, guys. If I don't see you in the next, like, week or so, I'm still going to say happy holidays. So, bye, guys.